Hi, my name is Geeta Sidhu Rob, and I am the CEO of Nosh Detox Delivery, a health and wellness business based in London. And today we're going to talk about transition. Transition is um, happens to everyone, um, and it's different things. It means different things for different people. So you've got the transition of moving jobs. You've got the transition of moving um, home but not the actual move itself, but the process of the move. And when you come to the new place, it's having um, your children go to school and they've been at home and now they're not at home anymore. It's got to do with um, knowing that suddenly getting a diagnosis of illness. It's got to do with a parent passing um, and, and, you know, and then you suddenly become an orphan. Transition is a very funny word because it seems really quite benign and it doesn't have a lot of an emotional content to it. But what actually transition is, is something that has a very deep and very profound effect on the body. It is something that um, actually it affects you on so many different levels. And that's what I want to talk about today in this video. So there are many uh, physical manifestations of transition. It can affect your sleep. It can affect you because you get a cold. It can completely reduce your immune system and you can feel quite ill. You can get sort of mild, irritable headaches. Now this is more understandable where you have had someone say, look, you're really ill or you have cancer, or you have something really quite, you know, life-changing. We're more understanding of the symptoms. But in fact, these symptoms come about no matter how severe the transition is. You could literally just move from one home to another, and your body doesn't understand the difference between that transition and the transition of, oh my gosh, you've got cancer. So. I want you to understand the physical effects of enormous change on the body, even when it's a good change. The thing is, excitement actually has an undercurrent, a sort of an underbelly of fear. And that underbelly of fear is the spark that makes the adrenaline run, that makes it exciting. But that adrenaline is also what makes us unable to 100% relax for a little while post-transition. This is a time where your body's actually quite vulnerable. This is a time where you want to be super aware of looking after yourself and your self-care and your self-nurturing has to kind of ramp up a level just to make it easier for your body to accommodate. So you've done the change, you've moved from wherever you were gonna move, you've um, gotten your diagnosis of whatever is wrong with you, you've got in your new job, you've gone wherever. What is happening is that there's an awful, an awful lot of um, adrenaline in your system. You're not resting well. Your body's permanently in fear and flight. So here's what you have to do to actually take care of yourself. One, you need to be doing not so much hard cardio type exercises. You want to be going towards the more slower, longer type um, exercises. You want to do yoga. You want to do very long walks. You want to be clear that you are actually having long baths um, because your body needs that time to kind of slow down and put itself back together again. You want to actually try meditating, finding ways where you can be calm and still and peaceful because the more and the longer you do that, the better your body starts to um, acclimatize and accustom itself to where you are. You also want to be eating as clean and as healthy as you possibly can. You want to be eating your fruit. You want to be eating your vegetables. You want to be drinking water. And you want to actually, one of the few times, you want to lay off the alcohol as much as you possibly can. Because in these states of transition, in these states of heightened adrenaline, you will feel the alcohol so much more. It will also affect your hormone patterns. That's why your sleep then gets affected. It affects your periods. This is why when you fly, your periods change. All of this stuff does make a really big difference. Be aware that your body is trying to protect you. It's trying to look after you and help it to do that. Um, 
if you are going through a transition, let me know which part of this actually you did try and which one you felt and how it had an effect after you tried doing it. Um, leave a comment down below and like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe and if you want to know more about what we do, my name is Geeta Sidhu Rob and you can find me on noshdetox.com. Mm -hmm.